when you look at kind of like the future of restaurants, what is, I mean, I know because you're in it, what are your concerns and what are your hopes? If you have one concern right now, what would it be? Well, I, I mean, the style, hopefully, you know, of service doesn't, doesn't get disrupted that much because of the whole COVID thing. And, and maybe hopefully the COVID thing has nothing to do with what we're talking about right now. Um, but, you know, raising the wages could, be a, could affect and the prices have to go up if you're going to be paying a dishwasher $15. You know, and everybody fifteen dollars minimum. The prices have to go up. People don't expect, you know. So, I know that was approved in Florida this year. So, yep. one dollar is gonna go up every year to twenty twenty five. Twenty twenty five is gonna be. So, I know I have a lot of friends in New York. I have friends in California, and they've told me it does affect you, affect you. And as you know, Dan Meyer tried to change the whole system just because of it, and he failed. He failed. He failed. He couldn't Talk do about, it. Talking about like the number so, one restaurant tour in the yeah, United States right now. He tried to do something. Uh, he, he probably thought that it wasn't going to follow. Nobody followed. And he couldn't make it work. So uh, that's something that, that I think that that's going to affect restaurants. But I don't know, man. I think I think, I think think restaurants, you know, it changes. It keeps changes. You're saying yeah. there's nothing you can do about that. And there's going to be a lot of pioneers that – could create new ways and you know it could be anybody it could be you it could be me it could be you know uh, you keep working on it to to do the what we, we like to do who right. is hospitality yeah, yeah i love taking care of people yeah it's, it makes me smile it makes me happy i have the biggest you know sense of for hospitality i think uh because i just love taking care of people i love i love when people come to town and call me and they tell me you know i can change i can tell them where to go i can Take care of them, show them around. Just since I was a kid, having people over in my house, it was my favorite thing, having a stay over, you know, like your yeah. friends, you know. I just love taking care of people and cooking for them. It makes me really happy. So as long as you do that, the rest, you know, is just. I think my concern is the same as yours, uh, service style, and like the way that a restaurant, uh, how is it going to develop over the next two years and as long as uh kind of politicians keep their digits out of our business i think it'll be fine um you know the uh i think that it's tough to see some of the best in the country revert themselves to putting food in boxes yeah um especially knowing what they're capable of on a creativity level and like uh just, you know, the whole thing from service to what lands on the plate. So my concern is that getting hit hard. You know, one thing I've tried, at least at Ariette, is to make that seem the same, even though taking the proper precautions, uh, because I still do believe in, like, the old school style of dining, and that's why I fell right. in love with this to begin with. And I don't want to um, I don't want to accept that changing Unless I really have to. I'll tell you one advantage we have right now. We are one of the only things going for people. Restaurants. That is correct. So we are that person's, you know, night of the week. You yeah. know, there's no theater. There's no movies. There's no sports. There's no, you know, there's no, no big events. Guy, no events. No, no big gathering. Events. No music events. So, you know, we... We're in charge, you know, of, of, of responsible making people their night out, you know, happy and and doing everything we can within, within all the codes that are there mm -hmm. out there uh, to make them happy and safe and give them a good time. Yeah, that's I mentioned it before. The reason why our uh, once a month tasting event is successful is because we're like an event. We make it an experience yeah. in a world that people don't have it's a play. Yeah, they don't have anything to experience right now. So we're giving them that hours of normalcy that they've been pining for for fuck the whole fucking year you know so i'm looking forward to my dinner uh, that's right the 18th, <laughs> the 18th. Jo jose will be joining us for versus number four five do you think five, zach do you think zach still gonna sit with me after i don't know i don't know if <laughs> they got a little scared. Uh, zach the baker's now gonna want to sit with you or not we're gonna leave that undecided for now um i i think that's like my concern is that the thing's changing my hope um is we kind of pick up where we left off. You know, I think, like we mentioned before, like Miami was on such a good trajectory uh, and 
you know, the community was pushing so hard. And I think that they continue to push so hard, but in different ways for survival instead of for growth. I'm really scared of, uh, of another breakout. Uh, I know what's going on in Paris right now, and in, in Madrid, in Spain. They, they're shutting down. I mean, I don't know if I can survive another shutdown. And I, I don't know if any of us can. It's crazy. Yeah, it's crazy. So hopefully, you know, we don't we, we don't have to go through that again. Mm. But as long as we open, we're gonna we're gonna do everything possible to make people happy. You know. Right. Yeah. I mean, it's uh, scary to look around the world and see what's happening. And the hope is that we can continue to just try to keep each other safe and stay on this track because, like you and myself and so many other people, I don't know if I can hold down another fucking six month quarantine. Apart from financially, just like mentally and the whole thing, it's it's a heavy burden to carry.